All right, Logan, we have six tiers, S, A, B, C, D, and F. Today, we have Star Wars Aura tier list part three. We're back at it again <laughs> <laughs> already, but you love to see it. And you picked out a majority of these. I did pick out the majority of these. I'm very excited for you to see what I have picked. Well, maybe we shouldn't say a majority. I don't know half. Um, of, I don't know half of these. Yeah, but I promise they're. I think they're pretty good. Okay, I trust so, you. Let's go ahead and get into the first one here. We have Luke. <laughs> right after he kissed his sister. Leia, and then he tries to act all cool. Yeah. Puts his hand behind his head, and I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't cool at all. <laughs> this is like this is pretty low aura for sure. <laughs> I mean, not only did you kiss your sister, but I mean, what kind of pose are we hitting here? It's also the fact that his face is destroyed as well. Yeah, like he was just in a back to tank, like in a diaper. I and forgot about that. Maybe we should have done that. <laughs> that maybe one. that's on the next. Maybe that's on the next one. Him in the diaper in the back to tank. <laughs> that one was very low. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just the pose. Like he's he's acting like he's the shit. I mean, is he the shit? He did kiss Princess Leia, but it's his sister. Like that's that's the that's the thing you got to choose. Like, so it counteracts that point. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Like, does it give you aura? So it gives you if you kiss your sister, but she's hot. <laughs> no, I think that cancels I, out the yeah, aura that nah, you had. That's... That cancels out the aura that you had gained. <laughs> <laughs> that sound bite is gonna get taken out of context there. Well, one hundred percent. Do you get aura if you if your sister is hot and you kiss her? Logan, twenty twenty four. Um, D. I mean, I was definitely thinking, like, at least D or F, probably, but I'm cool with D, I think. Okay, yeah. I think D is a very good spot for that. Boy, that's not a good start. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> all right. Well, our second one here, Star Killer, pulling down the, de the Star Destroyer from the sky. Now, obviously, some people may have expected this, you know, me being a big Star Killer guy. I don't know if you could get much higher aura points than this. Yeah. You're such a hype beast. <laughs> I can't no, help I'm it. Uh, <laughs> it's gotta be S, right? I mean, for me, this I feel is... like it's such an iconic moment, too. Exactly. Like, the, the, for me, especially playing it, like, as a kid, and when uh, <laughs> Ron Koda was like, pull it out of the sky! That's and true, you just start, yeah. And you just... I mean, the sequence is annoying because you have constant TIE Fighters pilots, but once you actually get to the cutscene, it's just, like, it's abs it's like that fixture, like, absolute cinema. Like, that's what that... Yeah, yeah. That's how I best describe this, is just cinema. So this is definitely an easy yes for me. Yeah, I mean, I have to go S. <laughs> it's just... It, it's probably the only spot that makes sense. All right. Our third aura moment here <laughs> is Darth Vader... <laughs> When he oh. when, when he gets completely wrecked by Han Solo, yeah, yeah, and he starts spinning. Okay, you know I thought about this for the first two. Actually, you did, and I remember you thinking oh, about man. it, so I wanted to include it because wow. this this phenomenal picture you got, by the way, phenomenal picture. I was so tweaked out at what it even was. I it was having a hard time trying to find one because all of them were just like the regular shot of him in the thing, but I wanted one of like at least yeah, like the thing yeah. spinning, and I found that one sideways. Okay, um, and I had to pick it. Hmm. I mean, just th thinking in the in the context of it, like he is about to kill Luke, mm -hmm. save the Death Star from being blown up. Yes. And you got this this random dude. <laughs> flying in you've never seen him before random smuggler random smuggler with a wookie in there yeah and he gets his ship doesn't even get blown up no he just gets sent <laughs> flying out into space infinitely somehow Spinning. the best star pilot in the galaxy the most feared, loses control of his ship the most feared person probably in the galaxy at this point there were like stories about this guy yeah about how dangerous he was I, is it F? I was honestly... Like... Especially because someone of Darth Vader's status, too, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, this is bottom moment of his life, probably. Padme's getting the ick. 
Oh, she's definitely getting the ick. Yeah. I honestly get the ick watching it, too. Because, I mean, imagine you're, like... Imagine, like, a real-life sense. You're, you're, in, you're in the car with your girlfriend. You're driving. Mm-hmm. And you hydroplane. That's a bad look. Like that's a really if, bad even, look. Because like in this context, he doesn't hit anything. Like he doesn't die. No. He doesn't. He doesn't even crash. Yeah. But he just you just hydroplane. That's a really bad look. Like really your girl's gonna look. look at you different. Yeah. Or put yourself in your in your girl's shoes. You're gonna look at yourself different. You're gonna be like, <laughs> oh my god, this guy really just hydroplane. Is this really what I settle for? Yeah. Like I did. You know what? Now that you're saying it like that. And like, and and then imagine you hydroplane because you're on the highway and a dude is in like a, like a smart car next to you. Oh my god! And the and, just like the just like the lowest aura dude, comes in and he causes you to hydroplane. Yeah, it's got to be F. Dude. It's F. It's it's F. It's F. I'm 100 percent down. I'm throwing that in the F tier. All right, our fourth aura moment here is Snoke, the build up. To this guy right and okay. he just gets absolutely wrecked within like 10 minutes of screen time yeah and yeah like he could he couldn't even sense that kylo was turning on him and he just hey, like this guy was supposed to be so powerful right and he just it did not live up to the hype at all you know i thought for a second i was gonna say that in the first place his aura wasn't very high mm -hmm. but it kind of is what do you think about episode seven yeah and every single like thing like dude he was built up to be like like whoa like, this is the new big mm -hmm. big bad guy right and here. then him like using the force across the galaxy on hux dude, that was insane because technically this is palpatine yeah technically i mean he he did have aura mm -hmm. in this moment though he does not have any drip. This is dripless. I don't like this. I was not a big fan of Snoke drip either. So, so you got to think, you know, the way the way that we were talking about Darth Vader, mm -hmm. like it's embarrassing because it's Darth Vader and because of that the circumstances. Yeah. These circumstances he's not drippy. That's really the only negative for him at the moment, but he's so not drippy that I feel like he doesn't have that crazy of aura in the first place in this moment. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'd be fine with C. I okay. mean, he does get killed by like, he gets killed by Kylo. Like it kind of makes sense. Yeah, I think for me, it's the way that he got killed. It's yeah. like, like you're, you're built up to be this big bad guy now. Whether, you know, whether it was, you know, Palpatine was like, you know, because technically, you know, it was Palpatine all the time, we know. <laughs> we have to clarify Spo that. Spoilers if you don't know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like, maybe he planned it. Maybe he didn't care, but. Oh, okay, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe he was trying to cook something up. Maybe I don't it's know. more aura. Maybe, I don't know. Because it was a front. It could have been. Now I feel like it has to go see because like okay. now, now we're like okay, we're now we're scheming. on this whole thing where we're like trying to decide if it like low key might be high or okay. I was I was looking at the lower <laughs> tiers, but now that we're talking about it, I'm actually honestly okay with it too. Yeah, it's like <laughs> maybe Palpatine, had, maybe like I don't actually care. This yeah, might yeah. Be good for me. Now we got the fifth one up here. Oh my god, see, <laughs> I knew this one. So okay, I, saying, I mean, come on. I saw this the other day on Twitter and he sent instantly it sent it to you and, and I said, said it had to be on it. And I said, that's S+. Plus. This is like a tier of its own. This is C-3PO. This is Anthony. This is actually Anthony Daniels in the suit, mm -hmm. smoking a cigarette in the C-3PO suit. I, dude, I mean, it rivals that Luke image from yeah. the first one. This rivals that. Now, I thought, I when I first saw this picture, <laughs> instantly I'm thinking... What's the aura level here? That's a, I mean, that's just my first thought. Yeah. <laughs> now, I wanted to ask you, do you think it would be higher aura if it was him lighting the cigarette as C-3PO versus someone else doing it for him? Hmm. Now, in my mind, it's probably higher aura that someone else is doing it because he's, he's in that suit like, yeah, light that for me, bitch. Yeah, like, like, that, like that, yeah. Yeah, like, like that. that shit. <laughs> like that you know, shit. like he's a <laughs> like imagine him on set. He's like, he's like, hey, bitch. 
<laughs> give, give me a shake. But then, but then I'm thinking of like, imagine him just pulling it off. Yeah, like a pull, like like C three PO has like a, pack has like a Marvel. Thing. Yeah, he's got a pack of Marvel Reds that he pulls out. <laughs> and he's and he, no, and then he like he like like the C three PO finger. He like. He like twist the tip oh of the finger God. off, and it's a lighter. Like, no, that would be hard. Like, <laughs> that would be tough. I think both. Honestly. I think that's canon. That that C three PO has has a lighter under under one of his fingers. And he has a pack of Marlboro Reds. In his <laughs> yeah, yeah. He has a pack of Marlboro Reds on his belt. No, like you know the circle thing on his stomach. Oh yeah. It's like a it's a, <laughs> it's like a vault. He opens it up, and it's just like it's just a whole carton of of Marlboro Reds. Like he's. It's, it's like just never a stash of cigarettes, yeah. I can imagine him on the Falcon look like looking and going <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we might have to stop by <laughs> oh, stop by the <laughs> stop by the BP on the way to the Death Star. We need to, like, we need to make it stop really quick. <laughs> this is S. This is S. I mean this is easily S. Honestly, if I could put in like S plus, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is it definitely it rivals the Luke sitting on Palpatine's throne. It does. It's it's insane how high of an aura there. I just goes. need, please, if if you're watching this video, <laughs> join our Discord and send your aura moments Ooh. for for the for the next year. Send That'll in great, pictures yeah. for your aura moments, whether you think it's high, low, mid, whatever. Send it and please look for original trilogy behind the scenes pictures because apparently they go hard. They're insane. All right, well Rob, that was a absolute banger right there moving on to number six now we got dexter jetster essentially the scene where he's he sees the camino saber dart he knows exactly what it is yeah he tells obi-wan i mean that's that's knowledge right yeah, there and that's, that's high aura that is plus aura he's i mean he is a wise being he's Clearly. been alive for i think 200 plus years at yeah. this point so he's built up a lot of knowledge over uh, the years. yeah is it 200 or is it like thousands? Not thousands, right? I remember yeah. we learned this about how old he was. Maybe he's like 500, 600. Because he was, it was he the... was, he like yeah. lives in the lower parts, mm -hmm. uh, like one of the lower levels, but he got that place when it was the top level. Yeah. So I remember. So yeah. he's like, he's pretty old. He's, he's got been the wisdom. For a while. And the fact that he knows that off the top of his head after. Camino's been wiped from the Jedi archives. I mean, like he's schooling a Jedi. He's teaching Obi Wan. Yeah, that's that's even so. More. In a sense, in a sense, Obi Wan was his Padawan in this particular in, in, in this in this instance. Yeah, and it seemed like Obi Wan went to him a lot too. Yeah, that's what it seemed. He's like. an old friend. Mm -hmm. But are we including in this the moment? when he's hugging obi-wan and he has to pull his pants up i know i knew you were gonna bring that up because <laughs> that drops the aura a little bit yeah like because like can... he's got his ass crack out like that's not that's not a good look yeah no b if we're gonna include that part with the pants yeah. i would say b if not i would say a yeah yeah I i'm down with b okay i think it makes sense yeah because you never part... want your ass crack hanging out <laughs> it's not a good intro he didn't have a great intro in the movie with that. No. It was ass crack hanging out, but he redeemed himself for sure. Well, the the intro of uh, Obi Wan. <laughs> okay, that's plus like that, aura. Yeah, that's plus aura. <laughs> that's plus. <laughs> <laughs> but then it drags it down with his ass crack out. Yeah. Yeah. And he gains it back though. So. Okay. Shout out to Dex. Moving on to the seventh aura moment here, we got Ezra and Kanan, um, essentially being pulled by Darth Vader. Like they're getting manhandled. By Darth Vader, yeah, here, because they can't stop. They can't match Vader's force level. Mm -hmm. Just the just the idea of them both, like, like look at Kanan. He's look trying... at Kanan right here. He is pulling with all his might, and trying it's... to hold Ezra. Doesn't they both can't do it. No, like not even close either. They're just getting bitched. Yeah, I will say though, Kanan gets a little bit of aura there with the helmet i think that helmet's fire the jedi okay yeah the, the mask yeah i think that's tough because i really do like that mask but as you, a, you gotta give him credit because he's doing it blind yeah that's true but yeah this particular <sighs> moment man it's 
It's not a good look for them. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I've always hated Ezra's hair at this point. Really? Yeah, I don't like his early season hair. Interesting. Because I don't mind it. I mean... And they are getting... The thing is, you guys, you know, we're thinking about it, right? Darth Vader is doing it, so it's like... Yeah. Vader is pretty powerful. Do we go I see, then? Because, like, I feel like there's some things that are kind of bringing up okay. the aura for, for them. You know what? I, I do. I actually like C. It just, I feel like it makes the most sense. It's not like the craziest low aura moment. Yeah. Because then they also have high aura moments throughout that episode, too. That is true as well. So, so they, they have a good balance of aura there. Okay. Get in the eighth aura moment. <laughs> Jesus. So this is one you picked out. So, yeah. Mark did not know this one. <laughs> I picked this one out. <laughs> so this is his first time seeing this. <laughs> this is... Wow. I mean, does it really have to be explained? This is uh, um, <laughs> Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Wow, they got dead. It. <laughs> this Smoked. is their 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 corpses. They're fully their skeletons. Burnt. Yes. This is just. I still think it's insane that this was shown in the movie. <laughs> I mean, that is not a good look at all. <laughs> it's insane that that was shown. This is probably the worst way to go out. Oh, yeah. De burnt alive is one Dog. of the worst ways. <laughs> gotta be. I've never been burnt alive myself. I haven't. I don't but I gotta be. imagine it's one of the... It's like right next to drowning. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I mean, this man. is very... I mean, this might be it. This is F, dude. It's, <laughs> it's gotta got, be. Because like, then, <laughs> then, like, you're out, like, this vulnerable. Like, you're this dead. Oh. And then, like, look at the... Look at the... <laughs> the, the, the one in the back, because... I mean, is that is that Owen or Baru? Who knows? Who knows? But the one in the back is like just just sl slumped over, and that's that's kind of low aura. And then you're getting pulled up on by your your nephew, who's seen who saw all of it. Like yeah, I mean, this is just the lowest. It's, it's gotta be yeah. This is the lowest of the low aura. I don't care who does it to you. It's. <laughs> that's 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 that is a tough way to go out <laughs> yeah it's not good at all all right going into the ninth one here <laughs> oh my god <laughs> no, this is one of the truly <laughs> no how'd you get this picture it was like the first thing that popped up when i, <laughs> oh looked, up, when I looked up jedi scum it was like one of the first images <laughs> wow <laughs> okay i mean i already know where i'm putting this but from the oh, acolyte, uh, May <laughs> saying she can't believe her sister's Jedi scum. But the, the way she says it is so bad. <laughs> the way she said it was bad. It was the way uh, it was the delivery. The everything about this just made me. She loses aura in the episode too. She does. Just like mm -hmm. at the end of the episode, she definitely loses aura. There's no doubt. Because beginning of the season, she has high aura for sure. She was gaining it for sure. Like it was like constant plus, plus, plus. But not this episode. It was <laughs> minus, minus, minus. I mean, this yeah. this essentially, in my opinion, takes off almost all of her aura anyway. <laughs> Man, I mean, this is a. I'll go F. I have uh, to go F. This is this is a this is that's a, brutal. That's such a brutal line, dude. That line was horrible. <laughs> that's not a good line. All right, getting into the tenth moment here. Oh, we got Migs Mayfeld. With the sniper rifle, who is he going after again? This? He, this is when he shoots the Rhydonium in the factory okay. and blows up the whole thing. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude, because that was a sick shot. Dude. Yeah. I mean, and, not only. I mean, and look this at is this. like he gets on the slave one with Boba Fett. Mando's on here. Mando. Um, Fennec Shan. Fennec. What's her name? Um, Cara Dune was on. Cara there. Dune. Those are the four people. Four other people, and he. Says to give him the sniper. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this, dude. Look at the sniper. Look at the, You knew he was hitting this look shot. Look at that tiny-ass scope. You knew he was hitting <laughs> like, this shot. Yeah, like, he's that locked in. And then he he's pulling the both eyes open. That's even like, more that's... savage. And oh, man. I think and by the end of this episode, he gets out of his sentence, too, so he can go free. Oh, yeah. And that's even more aura right there. He did such a good job here that they were like... Oh, he must have just died in the battle. And he just went off into the sunset. I'm in my mind, I'm sitting here thinking like we're overloading S. But this is the one that I feel like I can't 
even think of something that's dragging down the aura. You know? Really, there's nothing. There's nothing in this moment that's pulling aura down. I mean, he is only gaining. Yeah, if you just showed me this picture, I would say this is probably S. Like aura. Throw it in S. I mean, it's Might it just well. has to be. Might as well. I, I don't I mean, think there's any any other way about it. So. No, nah, I will agree with you there. All right, going to the 11th one. I already have an idea of what this is. <laughs> it's Arnold. <laughs> this is Arnold. Shout out Arnold. Galaxy of Heroes legend. What is he, the Emperor of the Kyber Empire? The Kyber Empire, I believe, yep. Oh, man. He's made it far, man. He's His picture, too, is just... <laughs> I felt the aura before we even pressed record. Before we even thought about before putting Before I this... woke up this morning, I <laughs> felt the aura from this picture. You're like, there's a, there's a disturbance in the aura. <laughs> <laughs> there's a... <laughs> there's a disturbance in the aura. Yeah. And, and, you, and once you... Once you found it, you knew that this was the disturbance. Because, you know, I'm like, <laughs> some would call me an aura master, in a sense. I, I wouldn't disagree. And this very well might be the aura grandmaster. I would also agree. So, I feel like it's only fitting to put him in S. I don't see any other place for him. He's just, you know, he's just the goat. He just radiates aura. The voice, the power in the voice. It's I, everything. I don't think I've seen him take a negative aura moment before. That's true. And if I have, it's like got to be very rare and far between. Yeah, and when he loses aura, he almost instantly gains it back. Exactly. Now I got the last moment. You're going to love this one. We have Arvel Kranitz <laughs> single-handedly taking out the executor by himself. This is another S one for me. I hate keep throwing stuff in S, but I knew the moment. I'm putting it A. <laughs> I'm putting it A purely because of the fact that one, he did not do it on purpose, no matter what you try to say. He did not do it on purpose. And two, his scream as he is about to die. <laughs> ah! <laughs> But he was just letting them know up here in the uh, command shuttle that he was he was gunning for them. He wanted them to know. You're, who, say, they you're saying to, they heard his scream? They wanted to know. <laughs> he wanted them to know that it was Arvel Krynid taking them out. <laughs> it was the legendary Arvel Krynid. <laughs> I mean, power level wise, the power level doesn't lie. He's like up top three with the best of them. So his cannon power level. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like <laughs> Legends Luke, uh, full potential Anakin, Arvel Krynid, Arvel Krynid, just canon art, not even yeah, Legends, can, yeah, canon Arvel Krynid, not even <laughs> Legends Arvel Krynid. Don't get me started on that power level. <laughs> Don't get you started on Legends Arvel. <laughs> what is Legends Arvel? Explain to me what Legends Arvel Krynid is right now. <laughs> What did well, what did he do that makes his power level even <laughs> higher in Legends? Well, he might have survived this in Legends. I'm not okay, sure. okay, <laughs> dude. He was the embodiment of the Force. <laughs> he was the embodiment of Aura. I mean, in the Star Wars universe, this man is the embodiment of Aura. So, <laughs> put it put it in A. Right, this dude Logan's a hater, man. Okay, get there, man. yeah. Let's get out of here. Logan's a hater in the comments. Uh, what a tier list, though. Honestly, more balanced than I had thought it was going to be. Yeah. But I like it. I think it's is, a good... Do you think the C-3PO is the highest aura <laughs> moment yet out of all three? Dude, I don't... It's between that and the Luke one. I can't decide. It has... It's got to be, they're both, it's gotta be Luke. Dude, they're both so good, dude. Like, I don't know. Something about him smoking a cig on set is just insane. <laughs> he, yeah, he's just ripping a dart through dude, the, through a, the mask. Through the mask, dude, it's insane, bro. I don't know. That's tough. I mean, that's going on the story for that's the, that's a post. That's a story. That's you're throwing that on everything. Profile, <laughs> I mean, profile yeah. picture. Yeah, that's profile picture worthy for sure. I mean, dude, it's. I mean, that's so high aura that if I was in the Star Wars universe. I might make that my profile picture. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You see that and you're like, C-3PO is my favorite character now. Off of that image. Pretty good tier list style, I like it.
Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's good, but Arvel Crying is still a. <laughs> Such a hater.